Hey guys, welcome to day 10 of Vlogmas. Today is Tuesday, December 10th. I'm actually at Walmart because tomorrow we have our holiday party and uh, and I have to get stuff to make an ugly sweater. So this is what I'm getting for my ugly sweater. I'm actually gonna try to make myself a candy cane sweater. So these are two giant boxes of candy canes and I got some other candies to use for it. And then I'm just getting like these generic sweatshirts to try out. You guys have seen this before, but I thought I would check out the pop section really quick they have some cool stuff nothing too crazy it doesn't look like they do have some of the gold star wars pops which i think i might have purchased online but i don't know and i think that's a, oh they do have a is that oh you guys this isn't in the best condition but i think i might get it the walmart exclusive ronin I think I might get this. I still need that Walgreens exclusive Hawkeye, which I really want, but this one's cool too. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this one. I didn't even expect to get a Funko Pop. They do have a Rocket exclusive, but it's damaged. Oh, here's a better Ronin. Is this one better? Yes, yes. Okay, put that in the cart. They have some of the, the 10 inch Deadpools, nothing crazy. And then they do have, look, they have a uh, Captain Marvel box. It's on clearance. Nothing great in that. And then Game of Thrones, Seinfeld, Fallout. Nothing too great. Oh, look, they have some WWE Pint Size Heroes. I think I might get these for Jackson for stock, stocking stuffers or something because he loves WWE. Anything else? Some plushies. Nothing too crazy. Okay. I think that's it. Okay guys, here's the dealio. First of all, it's hella late. It's 11, it's almost 11. It's 10.40 right now. Um, I just, I got home a little bit ago, um, ate some chicken. Soren, I think, made chicken for dinner. Somebody made chicken for dinner. I'm pretty sure it was Soren. So Soren, thank you for dinner because that was tremendously delicious. Um, everyone's sleeping. I brought all the stuff in. I wanted to, because I, I wasn't able to kind of go over this at Walmart. I have a ton of stuff. So here's my vision, and you guys have been with me. I didn't do this last year because I just didn't have enough time, but I really wanted to do it this year. So I got this blue sweatshirt. I wanted to get black, but they didn't have it. And my vision is I am going to, I, so the ultimate vision is I want to try to make a candy cane sweatshirt. So I want candy canes coming out of the sweatshirt, and I want it to almost look like, not fur, but you know, kind of like, you know, like layered, like, I don't really exactly know what this is going to look like, but basically what I got was I got some duct tape because I figured I could put duct tape over this just to strengthen the sweatshirt. I got an X-Acto knife so that I can poke a hole in it. I'm going to shove a candy cane. Let's show you. So I basically want to shove a candy cane inside the, like cut a hole, shove it in so that the candy cane's basically just hanging out like this. So I just want like rows of candy canes hanging off this sweatshirt. Now, it's gonna get quite heavy, so I'm trying to figure out if I wanna do the whole thing or not. What I also got is just different types of candy that I figured I could like, if I put a strip of duct tape here, I could use Twix to write like, if I wanted to write like ho, 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 and then fill it in with the Snickers on the top so that it's not all candy canes, because I don't know if this sweatshirt's gonna be able to hold just that many candy canes, but I want to try. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll see how it goes. I always tend to like come up with these big grand ideas and sometimes I'm not able to fully make them come to fruition, but I'm gonna try this time and we'll see. I've got lots of candy. I've got, I, I bought these Ferrero Rochers because what I want to do is put them on this part of my sleeve so that I can pretend to be flexing and then just have like this on my muscle and be like, yeah, because I don't know, because I'm weird like that. So uh, let's see if this works out. <laughs> Guys, this is taking forever. So I had the version where I put duct tape all over, but it was so bulky and it was hard to wear. So I used the extra sweatshirt, which is actually a little bit smaller. I got a medium. Um, and all I did was I just like straight up poked holes in it. So I'm still working on it. 
I think I might only do the front side because it's kind of heavy and the candy canes kind of fall out. I try to do rubber bands on the tip to keep it in, but because the fabric stretches, it's not really working. So we're just gonna do the best that we can, that's all. You know that moment when you thought you had a really, really good idea and then you just, you try to do it and you're like, eh, probably not so great of an idea. That's how I'm feeling right now with my sweater. Uh, let me show you guys. And this is, I wish I could show you, my mirror's really dirty. Wait, let me show you here. Can you see it? You see it? Um, I wanted to do the back, but this sweater is much too heavy. It, there's no way that I'd be able to put candy canes on the front and the back of the sweater. It's pretty ugly though. Like I must say, just like here, standing from far away, like it's pretty ugly. It's cool though, cause I can dance. And it makes lots of noise but I don't know if it's gonna win an ugly sweater contest because it's kind of weird and it's kind of out there as are most of my ideas because that's just how I am. I also don't know how well I'm gonna be able to take this on and off because um, right now all of, the, all of the candy canes are literally just like free flowing. Like I just cut little holes and I shoved them in the sweater. So uh, we'll see, I like doing this. What a weird thing. Anyways, I was gonna try to put like a bunch of candy on it and do all the stuff, but I just don't think that's gonna happen. So I think I'm just gonna go with this. I could see my neck getting tired from wearing this, so I might have to be careful. Now, the question is, do you guys think I can take it off? That is the million dollar question. I also got little lights. I'm wondering if I, I might shove little lights just to be a little bit more festive. Um, and then I gotta bring extra candy canes just in case candy canes fall out so I can put them back in. Okay, um, yeah, let's put some lights. I do have some bare spots on here, so I feel like I'm gonna put some candy canes in those areas and I think, I think I'll be done. Now the question is, do you think I can get this off? So let's see. I got it off with only a few candy canes falling off. So that's exciting, this thing is so heavy. Ugh. I honestly have no idea how much this thing weighs. And then it's really hard to figure out where the candy canes that came off came from. You kinda just have to look around and then you just find a random hole and you just shove it in there. All right. So I'm gonna cut a few more holes, stick a few more candy canes in here, and maybe some lights, and then I think we are gonna be done. Not my best creation. This is definitely an example of like, when you have a really big idea and then it just, it doesn't actually work out, but we're just gonna go with it. Okay guys, it's super late. It's almost one o'clock, I need to go to bed. But let's go ahead, I'm gonna open the advent calendars. I don't know if I'm gonna build like the Lego one, tonight because I'm super tired so let's but just let's quickly open it. okay so Harry Potter Lego we're doing day number 10 I'm gonna open this and then we'll build it tomorrow um, oh it's Ron so that's pretty straightforward I'll build him tomorrow when I do number 11 we have our Marvel day 10 let's see what we got Ooh, we got black Spidey you can tell this is Black Spidey versus, I think, Miles. Well, or is this Miles Morales? I don't really know if the red lines makes him Miles Morales. And this thing's not focusing. Focus, focus. There we go. I never really can tell what, how do you tell the difference between Miles Morales and, maybe there's not really, Miles Morales is Black Spider-Man, right? That could be it. That could be it. Let's do number 10 on this one. Same? Same. Okay, so we'll put him back. All right. Harry Potter Funko, we have... Oh. Hmm. I forgot uh, what her name is, but she ended up going 
to the dance with Harry and Ron, I think, her tw like her sister. I want to say it's Padma, but I know it's not Padma because Padma's just from Top Chef. So, anyways, I'll have to look her up or if anybody wants to put that in the comments. And then, even day, so we're doing our Harry Potter calendar. First one is, I'm just going to rip these guys because I don't have the patience or the strength. Okay, first pair of socks that we got are ankle socks and we got the golden snitch. Those are actually really cool. Calendar number two. Oh, these are probably going to be Ravenclaw socks based off of the design. Alright, so we have the Ravenclaw. It's not a raven. What is it? It's a raven. The Ravenclaw is an, is it an, an eagle? Ravenclaw. Hmm. That doesn't look like an eagle. That looks like a crow, to be honest. Hmm. Well, I'll look that up in a second. I'm not a huge fan of Ravenclaw. Sorry, 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 sorry. I know I always offend those Ravenclaws out there. My apologies. I'm just not a, not a huge Ravenclaw fan, that's all. Okay, these look like these are probably just going to be random Hog Hogwarts socks. And they are. These are Hogwarts with the giant Hogwarts crest. It says Hogwarts on it. I like this color scheme, the blue and white. Okay, guys, I'm failing you miserably. I didn't close out this vlog, so I'm going to close it out. Now. Thank you for joining me on, I don't even remember what day this was for, 12, 10, 12, and then it was 11, 10, 11, 12, 11, 10. Thank you for joining me on day 10 of Vlogmas, uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.